Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, I will show you how to create a rating bar with smiley faces in Android Portland. So this is our sample app which we are going to create in our today's tutorial. As you can see here, we are having five different types of faces with different expressions. Right? First one is a terrible face, which means you uh, don't like uh, that uh, stuff, and you will uh, rate it the below zero degree. Right? Uh, so you can select it here. If you want to select other. Uh, you can select this uh, face and then if you are uh, okay okay about that product then you can select this and if you feel good by using that product or by app you can rate it like this and if you are very very happy with this application you can rate it in this way so this uh, type of smiley rating bar we will create in our today's tutorial hope you like this tutorial and without wasting much time let's start our tutorial so as you can see i had created an empty Kotlin project and i had given its name as smiley rating so in order to create a smiley rating bar, we need to use some external libraries, right? So just go to Google and search for smiley rating and you will find this library which is created by Sujit Khanna. And just add your link of this library in the description and as you can see by using this library, we can create this type of rating bar, right? So in order to create this type of smiley rating bar, we need to include this dependency into our Android Kotlin project, right? So just copy this dependency from here and go to our uh, empty Kotlin project and just extend your project uh, file structure and then go to bin.gradle file and then paste it here as you can see i have already did that and then sync your project after sync after successfully syncing away your project your project will be ready to create and smiley rating bar right so uh, as you can see here all these steps has been given how to create that rating bar so instead of uh, copying this uh, code from here and uh, doing that stuff I'll just download this uh, sample app and, and then I'll uh, get the reference of that app, right? So just download zip file from here and I had already uh, did that download and that and then extract your files. After extracting, you will get this type of folder. Just open this folder, go to app, source, main, and here as you can see uh, we are having three folders like the source java and assets now as what assets folder holding in the assets folder we are having the uh, samples of that smileys right and we are having one more file that is meta uh, i mac Bray, which is the font which we are going to use in our today's uh, tutorial and then preview so just uh, copy this all i'll suggest you to copy the whole folder copy the whole folder and paste it into your project uh, into the main uh, folder and then you will get this type of access folder inside your main right I had already did that so just paste it here and then after access we are having more two folders java and resource just go to resource and you can copy all these files from here because in layout file here you are having xml code uh, you don't need this one file only you need uh, actually underscore main file uh, I'll explain you how I did that. So, so under Java, under resources file, under layout file, in XML file, I had uh, used the tag of smile uh, rating, and I had given some parameters here. For example, ID, width, height, and this one. So it displays something like here. And now we can't see it because it is does not have any uh, front end, right? It is just a tag. And uh, then if we go to main dot Kotlin file, uh, here. Uh, we extend the app compact activity. This is by default you will get in empty Kotlin project. Then, as we are working with a third party library, we need to extend implement that library into a project, right? So, give the command implement uh, smile rating, smile rating, which is name of our library, dot on smiley selection listener. This uh, method we are going to use, and then the one more method we are going to use is the on rating selected listener, right? So, just implement both these methods here. And then inside our curly bracket, uh, this code will be by default in your file uh, for the linking of with XML file. And then this is object of our uh, smiley rating which we have created in our XML file. Here, this one. And then uh, dot on smiley selection listener, we are calling this function which I had created here, which overrides the on smiley selected method. And same as that on rating selected listener, which will return us the rating which we had given to our uh, application, right? And then here we have created a variable is called as well type uh, face, which will hold the font, uh, which uh, font of this smiley, which uh, we had displayed here, right? This font, uh, this variable will hold 
typeface and uh, this font is we had downloaded in our ss folder this one meta macreplay.ttf this file has that font if you double click on file you can see this font right so just link that font into we need to store this file into our variable right so we will use uh, create from assets and then assets comma pass the name of that file and then smiley rating which is variable of our rating bar dot set typeface equals to type object of typeface right so now this one is enough now let's uh, override both the, this uh, method functions so on smiley selected function here we are having two variables it's base reality smiley and this selected boolean method now uh, as we are code, as we are working with Kotlin, we will instead of switch case we use this here the when condition so when in round brackets smiley which is the integer value uh, inside our curly brackets if smiley uh, is equals to smile rating uh, dot bad which means uh, bad is first one uh, bad is this one right bad second when we select this one at that time uh, it will create a log and it will display as bad right and uh, this all we had did for all these uh, six conditions like if it is good it will display good if it is great it will display great okay terrible and none if it's a little thing at that time it will display none so and now one more method has been given uh, that is on rating uh, selected this method will return us the rating in the numerical format right so level integer and this one uh, it will print in log and i'll show you practically how it is performing and then we have created a companion object which is uh, in inside which we had assigned the main activity to our tag variable right so we can go just go to log cache and we can search here for this tag variable which means main activity you can just type your main activity and whenever we perform any type of uh, action here it will display here for example if i select ok at that time it displays the ok and uh, rated as 3 which means third level it has been rated and if I select great, at that time it will display great and it will uh, give a rated as 5. Right. So, in this way it works. Uh, and if we go to our drawable folder, here we are having two buttons. But okay, it's not important that much. So, in this way you can create the rating bar, uh, smile rating bar for your Android application using Android Kotlin. So, let's run the application once more and I will show you how, how it is working fine or not. As you can see, our program has been implemented fine, and this is our rating bar, right? And and just uh, I'll display the locket so you can see properly what's happening here. And search um, search for main activity, which is our tag uh, name, right? So if I write terrible at that time, it will display the terrible and use rating as one. And when I comes to great, it will display the great and you will use the rating as five. So in this way, you can create this smiley bar for your Android application using Android Kotlin. Hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.